What's up creators, it's your boy, Matt and Mike. On today's episode, we're picking up a 1973 Dodge Charger. It's all rusty, uh, it's good for parts, that's it. So I'll turn the camera around, I'll give you guys a glimpse of the 1973 Dodge Charger. There it is. It ain't pretty, but there's a lot of good parts on it left still, so we'll get her all loaded up onto the trailer. It's gonna be a bit of a mission. Got my flat deck over there. Got some interior parts in it as well too. The whole back end has been ripped off. But uh, the bumper, I did find the bumper over there where they dragged it out of the woods. That's good. It's got a motor transmission in it. Definitely seized up, but uh, got a fender tag. So hopefully we can decode that fender tag and see what it is. Pretty cool. Can't pass up Dodge Charger when you find one in the wild. There's a bunch of Roadrunners here too. A bunch of other cool old cars. They're already uh, taken. Somebody came up and beat me to it. So some satellites, sorry, not Roadrunners, but what's that got? It looks like a little 318. Same as what's in mine. It's all white interior, kind of cool. That's eight and three quarter back in the woods down there. I'm gonna rip out. Well guys and girls, there you have it. 1973 Dodge Charger. Made it home safely. A little sketchy, a lot of leaves and dirt blowing out of the back end. We got the whole taillight section there with the bumper in great condition. But uh, it's getting dark. I'm gonna unhook everything and I'll give you guys 
and girls a tour of the parts car charger that we just picked up. Some people might think I'm crazy for pulling this out of the dirt, but tomorrow we'll see what we got. Find out if there's a good deal or not. We're back. All right, the car is home. It is the next day. We have the 1973 Dodge Charger behind us here. It's a, uh, sorry, I checked the VIN the other day. It's a 74, it's a 318 car, uh, it's complete. So let's go take a tour of the 74 Dodge Charger. So here it is. Now that we got some daylight, we can uh, look around the car. I've moved a few leaves from the engine bay, but not a lot. Save that for you guys. I'll put the camera down, get a little time lapse of kind of cleaning it up a little bit and tell you what my plans are for this car and why I picked it up. This side here is more dented in than the other side. So I'm thinking yard art and parts car. Gonna paint it up, put some old drag slicks on the back of it. I got these old Hoosiers or however you pronounce them. And uh, I'll mount those underneath there, maybe paint it up plum crazy purple and uh, put some racing stickers in it and just keep it in the yard and whenever I need parts, I can pull parts off. And a lot of good money in, in this car here. All the trim is there, it's got the sport mirrors. The grills are in good shape. Bumpers are in good shape. Uh, it's got, you know, the reflector is good shape. Fender, turn signals, good shape. I'll show you the 318 afterwards once I pull all the leaves out and leaf blow it off, but I'm pretty sure it's locked up. On the inside here, you got all the gauges, column, dash is in good shape, except for the few cracks on the top side. It's got bucket seats, black bucket seats. The rear seat's in good shape. Door panels. And it's the uh, Charger Broham edition. Bunch of cobwebs that came with it. Broham Charger SE. Pretty cool. Got this car for a really good price and uh, basically paid scrap price for it. And I'm happy I picked it up. I was gonna pass it up, thinking it was gonna be a lot of work loading it onto the trailer and obviously the whole rear end when they pulled this car out of the woods. I'll post some photos here. And basically, the car's been sitting in that forest for years and they wanted to move the cars out of the way. So what they did was they hooked up to the back end here and they had a trailer hitch and they yanked the complete rear end of the car off of the Charger. It was complete and uh, luckily in another part of the field, I noticed it and I found the whole rear section of the car. So there's the rear bumper, the bumperettes, the valence, and this massive trailer hitch that they got welded on to like one inch flat bar all the way around. Then it goes to about three quarters inch flat bar. So it ripped the whole rear end off, but we have everything there. The taillights are actually in perfect condition. No cracks, both sides. Chrome is peeling a bit, but I'm gonna try to tack this back into the car when we use that as yard art. I want this to kind of like be a part of the car obviously, so probably put her up in the front field there. Yeah, what else? It's got lower valence. Lights are all intact on this side. The uh, underside K member, everything's there, control arm, so a lot of good parts here. There's a 318. Core support and numbers match. The hood is in rough shape, but it's got the original stickers still on it, which is pretty cool. Up on the firewall, you can kind of see the electronic stuff is still there. It's got a master cylinder, so brake stuff is still there. There's so much room inside here. That's about it. That's a little walk around tour of it. Next, I'll start cleaning it all up and uh, see what I find inside. 
It's got the louvers, special edition. This side here, once I paint it plum crazy purple with some blackout treatments, I think it'd be pretty cool in the front of the house. been a few days if you stuck around this long I'll give you a sneak peek of what I've been up to I got some 20 inch wheels off of a Chrysler 300 C they're temporary they're the only wheels I had to put on the car I got the rear end wedged with a big block underneath the eight and a quarter rear end got the hood back on I uh, just took off the old hinges got the interior cleaned out got the steering wheel unlocked so let's quickly check that out column is all unlocked. I got the cylinder over there and the keyway that holds the steering wheel and locks it in place. Removed all that crap so now I can steer the car. I got the calipers off of the front end of the car. The rear end, I don't know if the drums spin or not. I'm able to put the gear lever into park, reverse, drive, neutral, etc. So we're good there. Focus. There we go. Alright, so this side here is all crunched in. The other side is looking pretty cool. These aren't the wheels I'm going to leave on. I'm going to put these big Hoosier drag slicks and stuff on it. And this side over here, once we attach the rear bumper back on, it'll look more complete. And uh, yeah, we're going to paint it Plum Crazy Purple. One of my co-workers, John, is kind enough to donate me some Plum Crazy Purple paint. So we're not even going to sand this thing down. We're just going to spray it up, stick it in the front yard so that people can drive by and be like whoa what is that that's gonna be it for this episode thanks for watching make sure to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys and girls next time ciao ciao